Hi everybody, hello, welcome to my live. I'm on a different day and time, which I already changed once. So um, if you're joining me, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, or if you're watching on the replay, I appreciate that too. My name is Laura Roderick. I'm an independent uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. And um, I go live usually every Tuesday at 7 p.m. This week I have some house guests and I'm sneaking in a quick live on Monday instead. So again, thank you for joining me, everybody. Um, I'm going to have a special guest with me in a couple minutes. Um, but first, I want to do the share contest. So every week I do a share contest and I give away a prize if you, um, it's actually not a share contest now, it's a comment contest. You just have to comment. So if you put a comment on either one of my Facebook pages or if you um, leave a comment on my YouTube video, I enter you into the contest. Um, so this week I was giving away these beautiful pecan pie and clear uh, ribbon dots, which I think are beautiful. These are kind of a new product in the online exclusives. Um, so the winner this week was Karen Gondon. So Karen, congratulations. I will put these in the mail to you. Thank you for commenting. Thank you to everybody who comments on my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, this week, I'm going to give away these uh, beautiful, also new, uh, cherry cobbler and pearl adhesive back berries. So these are really fun. Again, all you have to do is leave a comment to be entered into that contest. All right, you guys. Um, so let me bring in my guest first. I have to tell you, hi, Renee, that um, uh, Nicole and her kids came in to visit us. They're coming, they came for two weeks. They came in on Wednesday while I was at work, flew in. And as soon as I got home from work, um, my three-year-old granddaughter, Emmeline, came running up to me and she said, Grandma, Grandma, are you gonna make cards with me now? So she's really into card making. She's just a little over three. Um, and she's made cards and all her favorite things, ice cream, she really loves flamingos right now. Um, what else did we do? Watermelon, so um, she's made some fun cards this week. Uh, today she wanted to do a flower card, so we're gonna do a flower card today. Uh, so let me bring her in and introduce you to her. Emmeline. Um, yeah, she's she's been doing cards actually for a little while, like um, as soon as she was able to. Hi, baby, come on up. Sit on grandma's lap for a minute until we get ready. So this is Miss Emmeline. And Emmeline, do you love to make cards? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I do we? Yes, look at you. Here, let me click this so we can see. Okay. All right, there you are. But look at here, you can see yourself on this one too. See on grandma's phone? Uh -huh. And do you, do you love flamingos? Yeah. Yes, do you have flamingos in your hair right now? Yeah. Yes. Did you go to the zoo today with grandpa? Uh -uh. Oh, look at Renee says, hello, Miss M. Hey, that doesn't look nice. Did you feed the flamingos at the zoo today? No. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, we don't make faces on video. All right. All right, I'm gonna have you sit right here in your chair because you're gonna make your card, okay? <laughs> Nicole, make her stop making faces. <laughs> All right. All right, let's turn the camera around. And I'm gonna turn it down so we can see what we're doing, Emmeline. So, and then we'll show them the card that you're gonna make. I swing Okay, hold on, don't touch. Hold on, Grandma's got a problem here, okay. Are you dip? Hold on. Here you dip. Well, I don't know if we're going to use that. Hold on, I have to move this just a little bit because it's not doing what I want it to do right now. Hold on. Please stand by while I figure out my camera. All right. I feel like it's so far away tonight. Do you guys feel like it's super far away? It's like usually not that far. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. So, um, you guys. Tomorrow is a free shipping day. They just announced it, so I wanted to tell you first about the free shipping. It's one day only. It's tomorrow. Orders of $75 or more. So you get free shipping. In addition to that, you guys know we're still on the coupons, right? The bonus days. So those go on until the end of the month, the 31st of July. You get a $5 coupon for every $50 you spend. Then you can redeem your coupons in August. So that's like a super double deal, right? Yes. Yeah, it does look far away, Renee. I don't know how to make it um, closer. It's, let me see if I can just, mm, I don't wanna 
mess with it too much. Okay, um, so that's a great deal, right? In addition to that, because I'm not going to have any make and takes this week, yeah. I just have one make and take, which is just the card we're going to do tonight, which is this one. Um, I'll send you the make and take, but I'm also going to send you, um, if you order now through the 31st, I need to change that, because um, we'll go all the way through the 31st, the end of bonus days. Um, I will send you some goodies, okay? Some mystery goodies. The more you spend, the more I'll put into your bag. Um, so that's kind of the, what I have going for right now. I'm going to make ditto today. Well, nope. Okay, here's the card that Emmeline's going to make today. And she wanted to make a flower card, so we're going to make this card with the zinnias. Okay, um, where is your card? And so for her zinnia card, we're using the Simply Zinnia stamp set. And we're using the beautiful Spotlight on Nature dies that we, uh, I love these. And here's the pieces to make Emmeline's card. Here's your pieces, okay? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so hold on. So first, Emmeline, you have your card base, right? Eight and a half by five and a half. This is gonna be the inside, so can you put some adhesive on there? Yes, okay, good. Good. And some on this side too. Great job. We'll add just a little bit more here. Good job. And we're gonna put this right in the middle. So this is the inside of our card, okay? Yes. Okay, now we have this piece right here, which is four by four of pumpkin pie. And then we have this DSP from the Simply Zinnias. And this is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. It's like sandpaper. 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 And we're gonna take this, I cut out of lemon lolly. And this is one of those dies. So I'm gonna need some glue on this one too, please. So here, let's put this away for now and go ahead and put some glue on. Hold on, hold it this way. Good job. One, two, and we're gonna put that right in the middle. Okay, how about some dimensionals? Do you like to use dimensionals? Yes. Okay, let's put four dimensionals on here. You know you pop them. You like to pop things up? I don't like to pop things. You don't like to pop things up? I like to pop things up. It makes it look nice. Okay, that's good for. Let's take the backing off. And then we're going to put our square. This one, I think that one's good. This is a square. And we're going to put it right at the top of our card right here. Right? Okay. Now we're gonna put our flower on and we're gonna put dimensionals on this too. So can you put three dimensionals on here? You know that I popped it up. Yeah, yeah. There's one, two, one more. Whoa, uh-oh. Okay, here, put this one on. That one's too hard to put on. Okay, so we have three dimensionals. Let's take the papers off. Good job. And we're gonna put this flower right in the middle of, hold on, this one's gonna come off too. All right, so let's put this right in the middle of the yellow. Okay, good. All right, last thing is we um, have a strip of lemon lolly and a strip of pumpkin pie, and we use the stamp that says sending flowers and thinking of you. And this is the last thing we're gonna pop up. Nope. We don't use that. That's for if your paper gets a rough edge, then I use that to sand. My, put my paper like that. Okay. All right, here you go. Let's put this on right here. All right. Now the only, you know what we need now? We need some pink sequins. Do you want me to use them? Yes, I will let you use them. Let's put some on. I think three pink sequins would be lovely. Lovely. So one. I guess it's kind of good that we're zoomed out a little so we can see what Emmeline's doing too. I don't know how to zoom in and out on this. It seems kind of, um, <laughs> yeah, she does want to sand, Renee. You're right. Okay. How many we got? Let's put some over here too, huh? Wait, they're sticking to your fingers? Oh, no. Okay, good. All right, do you want to do any more? 
flower. You're gonna put one on the flower. Two. Two. You like a lot of sequins? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is your card done? No. I think it is. I think we're done with your card. It looks beautiful. You did a good job. Oh, one more pink. All right. Okay, one more pink. Deal. Okay, wait. Wallet. Okay, perfect. Are you going to show everybody your card? Mm -hmm. Okay, show it right here under the camera so they can see your card. Very pretty. See your card right there? Mm -hmm. That's your card. All right, good job. Why don't you take your card and go show it to Grandpa, okay? No. Yes, thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it. Go show it to Mom and Grandpa. Thank you for your help. All right, so you guys, we're going to make this card. And this is with the, um, the actual Spotlight on Nature stamps and dies. I have used the heck out of these dies. I haven't really used the Spotlight on Nature stamps too much. Uh, I think I made one card for a tutorial. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Sorry, you guys. I was reading the comments for a second. Um, so we're just going to use that today. A nice, simple card. And I also used a die from the Unbounded Love dies. And it's this one right here. And this actually cuts it into two pieces. All right. So here's the pieces for our card. So there's another special, I think, tomorrow. Uh, and I just caught a glimpse of it while I was at work today. And 75% off, I think they're going to post it tomorrow. Paper Pumpkin, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can get 75% off refills and add-ons and things like that from the Paper Pumpkin kit. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow, too. That's another great deal. So many things, right? Okay, so for this one, I started with peach pie, eight and a half, five and a half, score to four and a quarter. We have this piece for the inside. I have this little strip that's four by three quarters. All right, we're gonna just put some layers. So I have this first one, um, this, uh, what do you call it? Old Olive. And this is five and three eighths by four and one eighth because I wanted kind of a skinny edge here. So sorry about all the confusion with times tonight. I, there was, there's a meeting at work tonight and it's kind of a last minute thing for me. So as soon as I'm done with this video, I'll be going back to work for the meeting. Now, you guys can see this is from the Lily Pond Lane. And this is five and a quarter by four. I just love this peach pie color. And I was looking for some kind of background to put on. So that's what I'm using for that. Have you guys seen this paper? I can't decide if I wanna do a card class with it or not. Um, but it is so, so cute. And this reminds me just of yesterday, we went down to the Pearl at the river walk and this is what it looked like. There were lily pads in the river and there were ducks everywhere. It was really pretty. So, and look at this. So I feel like I want to use this to do a class, but I don't know. I'm kind of unsure yet. I feel a little bit lost right now because, um, we've got the catalog, the annual catalog stuff, and then... We have all the new online exclusives that I want to use before they're gone and people can't get them. Um, and then if you're a demonstrator on the 24th in two more days, we get to view the mini catalog. So that's super exciting and see what's, what lies ahead until December. So a lot going on. Okay, you guys, this is Old Olive 2. And this is, I cut out of uh, one of the larger dies. And then this is basic white, and we're gonna stamp on that and put that in the middle. So we're gonna stamp on both these pieces right here. Let me get a little bit, because I think we're gonna be off a little bit. And then we're gonna color. So here is the main event, this beautiful stamp. And so I'm gonna do it right in the middle of this. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna do at the bottom of the inside. And then we're just gonna color these two pieces. So as you guys can see, I kind of went back to my more traditional colors that I like to work with, right? The greens and peaches and oranges and 
um, you know, Calypso Coral is one of my favorites. So I started with that. And then I have an alternative, which you may have seen online, that is um, purple. And I thought, let's go with purples too. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of color these flowers kind of an ombre. So I'm starting with the light peach pie. And I'm just doing the tops in the light peach pie. And then we'll work our way down. So yeah, they came in Wednesday. We've been doing lots of fun things. The weather's been good so far. A little bit hot. It was pretty hot yesterday when we were down at the Pearl. But fun nonetheless. So while I'm at work this week, they're going to be doing, she's going to be doing some fun stuff with Grandpa. Easton's asleep right now. He's taking a little nap. He's eight months old. And he's been enjoying being at Grandma's house too. So that's been fun. I gotta figure out how to zoom, right? I'm gonna have to do a little Googling later. Okay, now we're gonna go to the dark peach pie and just kind of do the next layer. At the end, I kind of wanna blend them all with the light peach pie, so I'm just kind of laying them down to start with. And then I'll kind of blend them all together at the end. Okay, light pumpkin pie next. Probably could have got away with just three colors, but why not do four? And then we'll put our darker color towards the bottom. Oh, since I had all my colors opening, I should have been doing the other one. So we'll come back and do that one. No reason I can't start from the bottom, right? So you could do a couple different things with the inside, of course. When I first did this card, I did the flowers and then I put the strip at the top. You could do the flowers higher, put the strip and the flowers, or you could just do the strip. Up to you. Um, but then I decided I really didn't like the strip and the flowers together. So I ripped it apart and did a different one. Okay. Before we get too far, everything dries too much, I do want to blend. So I'm going to take the light peach pie and just kind of blend these colors together a little bit. So let's go back to our other piece and I have the light peach pie which we decided was at the top. So only three colors on this. We're going to do this and then the old olive. So pumpkin pie, peach pie, and old olive to do this set of flowers. Do you guys have the stamp and die set? Or do you just have just the die set? I don't know. I thought it was really pretty. I didn't use the butterfly either because the butterfly is really beautiful when you color that in. Okay, uh, dark peach pie. I'm missing some spots, but we're gonna blend it at the end so it doesn't matter. And then the light pumpkin pie is the one we're missing. Which I, looks like I have a big area here, but that's okay. So I won't be live next Tuesday. That's why I'm extending this offer through the 31st for the mystery goodies. But tomorrow it's just one day on the free shipping. So if you want to take advantage of the free shipping, tomorrow's the day. I've already got my order ready. I'll do it in the morning before I go to work and make sure I take advantage of that. I'm going to blend it all again. So many things to get, right? So many choices. Plus, I'm just, I need to get some just regular supplies too. I feel like I go through stuff pretty quick. Okay, 
flowers we're gonna call done. Let's just quickly do our leaves and I'm not getting too fancy. Just adding a little bit of the dark to all the leaves. Not even carefully, just kind of throwing it down and then we'll blend it with the light. And see if I can stand the line. Look how skinny these leaves are. One card's gonna take longer than I thought it might. Are there any particular sets that you guys would like to see used? Like I said, I'm kind of feel a little lost right now. Like what should I do next? I don't know. But then sometimes you just, a mood strikes you, right? And you're like, oh, I'm gonna do this. Now, the stems are pretty skinny. The marker's fatter than the stems, but I'm still gonna add a little bit to the stems. I think it looks okay to do that. Okay, that's how we've colored this one then. I'll make it a little close since I'm uh, a mile away today. All right, let's finish up this one, the inside. I think these are really pretty flowers. I think though I like all flowers, truthfully. We got some, when we went to the Pearl yesterday, we got some beautiful flowers at the farmer's market. Some very bright and beautiful pinks, some zinnias, some sunflower. Well, they're not, but they're like small sunflowers. They're not the giant ones, but we got a beautiful bouquet. Okay, did we go out the lines at all? Because you know, I love to use my color lifter because I am so messy. Okay. All right, so let's finish putting this together. Okay, so we're just going to um, put this down with some adhesive. Back to our normal adhesive. I had her using the little one because it was easier for her to hold in her hands. And she likes to use it because she sees grandma's using the tape runner. So she wants to use a tape runner. But she, her first card, she did a lot of blending. She loves the blending brushes. I think she did a flamingo card with the blending brushes. Okay. This towards the top. Oh, you guys, I did it again. How do I do this every week? How many times have I done this? I forget to put the ribbon on. So silly. I get distracted. But again, we know how to fix it, right? Because I do this every week. So I think we know how to fix it. Peach pie ribbon. Beautiful, beautiful ribbon. All right, how are we doing on time? I gotta get back to work. <laughs> no, I'm good, everything's good time-wise. Okay, so uh, let's just put this on the inside and have that finished. I'm not gonna add the strip. Cause I thought it looked pretty just like this. And then of course you can write whatever you want. If it's a thank you card, you can write your thank yous in here. Now that I've destroyed the bottom, let me just add a little bit more adhesive and put that down. Okay, so that die that I showed you cuts it out in two pieces. So I cut one out of each. We're gonna stamp on this one, just thanks, and mossy, uh, not mossy meadow, old olive. And then we're gonna use the old olive frame to go around and save these other pieces for something else. Isn't that a cute little frame? All right, let's stamp thanks. Let me pull out my old olive. 
Uh, let me clean my stamp. I don't know what color I used on here last. Always looking for the perfect dye for the sentiments, right? What's gonna fit, what's not gonna fit. All right, so I'm gonna flip it over and these go inside each other, so how do I get them to stick, right? Dimensionals. So you can use strips from the side or I'm just gonna use the edges of the dimensional and go ahead and put this on. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time to put this to YouTube before I go back to work, but I'll do it when I get home tonight, probably about 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And I will post this to YouTube. If I have time, I'll do it before, but um, I have to make a Canva, right? So that's what takes the time, not necessarily just posting it. All right, so that's going to hold it together with just these dimensionals, and then we can go ahead and set it right here. All right, then I went back to our online exclusive, the brushed brass butterflies and we'll put some of these on all right and that's it you guys that's our super easy quick thank you card that we're doing tonight i hope you all like it i think it's pretty I should probably do a bunch of these because we always, I always have tons of thank yous to send, right? Don't you guys? All right, then I did an alternative because I thought, okay, step out of your comfort zone. Use a different color. For Pete's sake, Laura, use a different color. So I went with the Petunia Pop and I used a little bit of Highland Heather um, for the edge. And instead of using DSP, I used this embossing folder right here. Have you guys played with this one? It looks like a quilt. As a matter of fact, I can't even remember the name of it right now. But um, look how pretty that is. It's like a quilted texture. I've covered most of it up with what I've got on here. Um, but I think it's really pretty. So, and I think the, I love the colors of the flowers. So again, for, I just used, um, I used Fresh Freesia. Oh, actually, this is not Highland Heather. I think this is Fresh Freesia. So this is all Fresh Freesia and then Petunia Pop. So I did the same thing with the ombre, the four colors, starting with the lightest Fresh Freesia and then um, kind of working towards the dark colors. So we have the purple. I stayed with the old olive for the leaves. Um, these darker colors, all these are Petunia Pop and so is the ribbon. And then I did the same exact thing on the inside that I did to the other card, except it looks like... I didn't do a good job with my color lifter. It looks like it bled a little with the color lifters. So we'll see if that helps at all. Okay, so I thought, well, let's have a different color too so I can show you an alternative. And I like the purple. I would like to do a pink one too. I think a pink one would be really pretty. So I may end up doing that this week as well. Okay, short video. You guys, here's the host code m 9 J G E C H nine for orders up till uh, it's not a Saturday. What is July thirty first? Uh, I think it's next Wednesday. I think Wednesday is the thirty first. So sorry about the scratch outs and my messy writing. Wednesday, July thirty first. Okay, because that's when bonus days ends. Tomorrow's free shipping. Um, and the paper pumpkin special. And then I will also send you, um, in addition to the bonus goodies, I will send you the make and take for this one card. I'm not gonna have um, a PDF this week for uh, the measurements for this, but I will, if you're on my email list, I am gonna post the measurements on my email, which will go out tomorrow morning. All right, well, um, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you spending time with me. Sorry about all the confusion about the time. Um, uh, thank you guys and have a great rest of the week and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye.